What is up guys, Greedy Knight here with a video to show how to find the poison values on flaming espinas weapons. There are other videos that have determined the exact values using mods, giving me something to check my work with, but we are going through the process of finding them without any form of mods, because math is the best hack there is. Let's get into it. To review, the status threshold is like a bar you fill up by meeting certain attack type conditions. For the four formal statuses, Every attack has a 33% chance to fill this bar with status buildup. When the bar is filled, it afflicts the monster with that status, in this case poison. With status trigger, every attack fills the threshold during its uptime. Status trigger will be helpful for finding the true poison value since we don't have to guess whether poison was applied on a particular hit, but you can track your afflicted poison via the poison cloud indicator on each hit. We will be using Kiraniko and the motion value spreadsheets, which are linked down below. We are going to pick a nice and easy monster to farm against and take note of the poison threshold it has. For this video, I'll be using Great Azuchi as the example, but you can technically test with any monster you want or need. Moving down to ailment effectiveness on Kiraniko, under poison, we see that Great Azuchi has a 100 base threshold and after every successful poison proc, the threshold will reset, then increase by 90. If you don't inflict any poison after 10 seconds, the threshold will decay by 5. The poison will last for 25 seconds and inflict 250 damage. This is where motion values come in. We have to test each and every weapon on Great Azuchi. Let's start with Great Sword's Draw Slash as a base example. It has a 1.0 status multiplier meaning every single attack has a 33% chance of applying with the base value of Espinosa's poison. You have to hit Azuchi until the poison is applied while keeping a regular pace of attacks to prevent the decay from applying. Take note of how many hits it takes to apply the poison, or just record the entire hunt so that you could do it after the hunt. Keep going until you either hit the fourth threshold or kill the monster. Now you get to number crunching. Divide each threshold by the number of hits it took to poison Izuchi to find the lower limit of that range. Then do the same thing with one less hit to find the upper limit of that range, rounding down for both. Just by using your hit count, you can find the poison value within a given range. One hit is equal to 100 poison, two hits is within the range of 50 to 99 poison, three hits is within the range of 34 to 49 poison, 4 hits is between 25 and 33 poison, and 5 hits is between 20 and 24 poison, so on and so forth. As the threshold increases, the numbers for the ranges change with it. To find the exact value, you will have to make use of the higher thresholds, repeating the previous steps for thresholds 2 through 4. We find that Greatsword's Draw Slash falls in the 3 hit range for the first threshold, so it's between 33 and 49. We keep on slashing Izuchi to fill the new 190 threshold to find that it takes 5 hits. The second lower limit is 190 divided by 5 which results in 38. The new upper limit is 190 divided by 4 hits which results in 47. By moving one threshold bracket up, notice how the range decreases or shrinks. As we go up, it will become more precise. Moving on to the 280 threshold, it takes 7 hits, shrinking the range to 40 and 46. At the 370 threshold, it takes 10 hits, meaning that the final value is between 40 and 41. We hit Great Azuchi's final threshold without finding the exact value. The solution is to change monsters and repeat the test. There's no guarantee that this new monster will find the value, but at least one monster on the roster will help you find it. If we were to use Great Baggy, you would have to go as deep as the 4th poison proc of 450 to find the final poison value. It would take 12 hits if it were 40 poison, and 11 if it were 41. Based on the known values, it should take 12 hits meaning that the final value is 40. Now repeat this painstaking cycle of testing for the other weapons. I would minimize your DPS so you can apply the maximum number of status procs without killing the mob raptor. Also bench your buddies so their chip damage doesn't apply additional status or damage. As for the moves to pick, use attacks that are easy to combo 
and have a 1.0 status modifier just like Greatsword's Draw Slash. Don't try using moves like Condensed Spinning Slash Chops unless you really know your stuff. Like if this video was useful to you, comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you want to see more math based content like this. That's all I got for this one. Greedy Knight, signing out.